I will now explain how to calibrate the OMP60, a workpiece setting probe. The OMP60 is an ultra compact 3D touch type trigger probe that can send optical signals. It is used to inspect workpieces set up on a wide range of medium and large machining centers. It reduces the user setup time, defect rate, and fixed cost. First, fix the stylus to the body before calibration. Issue the M19 command to attach the tool to the spindle and adjust the runout. Adjust the runout to within 2 microns using 4 set screws. When the basic adjustment is complete, mount the measuring device according to the desired tool number. Select a program in the MDI mode and activate the work coordinate system. For example, enter G54 and press Start Cycle. You can freely select a work coordinate system. Press the Custom 1 RENGUI or GUI button on the operation panel to open the Renishaw GUI screen as shown on the screen. If you select the soft key edit button, the setting item will be activated and you can use the soft key select button to change the setting value where the cursor is located. For the tool offset type, set the tool offset method of the machine. Select the type by referring to the tool offset table. The default value is C. The tool offset range means the quantity of tool offset applied to the machine. Select Standard if the number of available offsets is less than 200 or Extension if it is more than 200 by also referring to the tool offset table. The default value is Standard. Work Offset Range means the quantity of work offset applied to the machine. Select G54-G59 for the default work coordinate system or G54 dash P48 if 48 additional work coordinate systems are applied or G54 dash P300 if 300 additional work coordinate systems are applied. The default value is G54 dash P48. TS2 activate indicates whether there is a second tool measuring device. If there is, select yes to activate the T setup 2 soft key in the GUI menu. The default value is no. Select the GUI language in language. You can select English, Chinese, or Korean. The default value is Korean. Press the soft key probe button for using the workpiece setting probe. The in position zone is used to set the area for checking whether the probe open or probe fail alarm condition is met or not. The default value is 0.050. Rapid traverse setting is used when the probe approaches the face of the shape. The default value is 3000 millimeters per minute. The back off amount is a multiplicative factor and has no unit. When the default value is set, a cycle can be executed without a probe open alarm. The value can be optimized as long as no alarm is activated while running the cycle. The default value is 0.5. If the 180 degree rotation M code does not use the M code for spindle position control, this setting value can be used to select the calibration method. The probe offset number sets the probe tool offset number when using the probe measurement cycle. If the tool offset number is changed, enter a new tool offset number. The default value is zero. The device we're using now has set 29 as the offset number of the probe. Variable setting is the starting number of the P-code variable used in the program. This item cannot be modified. Saving the result in macro variable sets whether the output or calibration data of the measured value will be output to the NC macro variable or not. Take great care as an incorrect setting can cause abnormal cycle operation and machine collision. When setup is complete, select the soft key calibrate on the GUI main screen. Select the soft key length to display the calibration screen for the length of the workpiece setting probe. 
the probe offset number and work coordinate system are automatically entered. Input the Z-axis reference position value. Since we have set the bottom of the pallet to the zero position, we must input zero as the reference position. Select the handle mode and feed the probe stylus 10 millimeters above the top. Select the auto mode and press the start cycle button. When the cycle is complete, the reference cross-section is measured and the tool offset of the probe is updated with the new value. Move to the upper menu and select the soft key radius button to display the calibration screen for the radius of the workpiece setting probe. Select inner diameter as the calibration method. You can select the inner diameter or outer diameter. The measuring teeth that can be currently measured are set to the inner diameter. Enter the shape diameter value that indicates the shape diameter. The diameter value is 40. Enter a ball diameter value that indicates the stylus diameter value. The ball diameter value is 6. Prepare a master ring gauge that shows the exact diameter values. Fix the ring gauge on the table and move the stylus to the center of the ring gauge using the handle mode. Select the auto mode and press the start cycle button. When the cycle is completed, the stylus ball radius, vector direction radius, and offset calibration data are set. That is the end of my explanation on how to calibrate OMP60, a workpiece setting probe.